Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, uh, advice, guidance, and I would like to tell a little story about uh, Rebbe Chaim of Kosov. This is the son of uh, Menachem Mendel uh, of Kosov. And it was his custom on the eve of Shabbos, an heir of Shabbos, uh, Rebbe Chaim, um, he danced before his assembled disciple. He do a tanz. And when he danced, uh, the Rebbe's face was aflame. He was beaming. And all the Hasidim knew that every step of the dance was informed with sublime meanings and affected sublime things well. Once, while he was in the middle of the tanz, he was in the middle of the, the dancing, a very heavy bench, like one of these long benches, very heavy, fell on his foot. He was only wearing slippers. Fell on his foot. And he paused in the dance because of the pain. And he really, you could tell, he, he felt the pain of this heavy bench slamming down onto his toes. Later, the Hasidim asked him about it. Because he looked like it were, looked like it really hurt. They asked him about it, and uh, Rabbi Chaim of Kosov said to them, it seems to me, he said, that the pain really made itself felt because I interrupted the dance. In other words, had he continued dancing, had he continued being caught up in the spirituality, in the fervor, in the avodas Hashem, the, the service of God, he wouldn't have felt it. Because he paused, because he interrupted the dance, that's why he felt the pain. We're going to be doing uh, more stories uh, about other uh, Hasidic leaders of the last uh, few hundred years. Uh, I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you're finding them uh, inspirational. Uh, these great, great holy men. Um, please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.